So how do you troubleshoot a course if it's not performing well? Um, maybe it's it's slow in the Unity editor, <clears throat> or perhaps you exported it and you started to play in game and it's just not performing well. Um, I'm gonna, this is just going to be a few tips and tricks on, on what to look for. It's certainly not all encompassing, but it should get you started. Um, so what I would do is, first of all, is start at a high level. Um, inside the Unity editor, um, in your scene uh, hierarchy, right? So that's where you know everything that's in your scene. Um, you can disable things in there using the inspector panel. So if you highlight something, then you go over to the inspector panel. In the upper left, you know there's that checkbox where you can turn something on and off. Um, start with things in your scene and start, you know, in game mode, turn things on and off and see what their impact on performance is. And you can do this at a very high level. For example, you can turn off all your OPCD meshes at once because they're in a, a empty yeah, that container folder. So you could turn off all your meshes. Um, and you could see, and that will obviously reveal that something in there is impacting performance. And that could, for example, be a whole 99 issue um, or another mesh. Um, and this is where it's handy. Uh, I had talked about organizing your scene, you know, putting things in empties. Um, for example, like RAM splines, I put all my RAM splines in an empty. Um, so if you have, if you're using those, those meshes, you could disable all those at once and see what their impact is on performance. But my point is, is everything in that scene file, disable those one by one and see what their impact on performance is and find one that's impacting it the most and start to drill down from there and go into that. So if you find out that your VS Pro, you disabled VS Pro and that's your huge impact on performance, then you know enable VS Pro again and then go into VS Pro, go into the inspector on VS Pro and start looking at individual trees and individual biomes. You can actually turn off individual biomes, right? So when you do a biome prefab, those areas that you drag and you put your trees in, you can disable those one by one and see which ones are causing issues. So start at a high level and start drilling down. We talked a lot about whole 99 performance. Remember, you can always retopo and subdivide and then retest that. Um, just be careful when you do that, though, because maybe you're double rendering your whole 99. Did you remember to get rid of the original one? OK, is it still on? So if they're both sitting there, um, you're, you subdivided, but your original is still there. And it's not subdivided or has been retopoed. Then you're double drawing and it's going to be even worse than before. Um, check your 3D density. Just the defaults are okay, but it might be too much, okay? So you might have to drill down, look, look at the 3D density videos and lower the density on that 3DG, um, or uh, or you could increase it if you got a little room to spare, but um, check that 3DG density. And remember, that's also tied closely to that whole 99 performance if you don't subdivide. Um, LODs on your trees. There's going to be a video right after this by John Meyer on looking at LODs on trees. That's a subject on of itself. So if you find there's a particular tree that's not performing well or causing problems, you might want to look at the level of details on those trees. Uh, there'll be another video on that. I think I'll put it right after this. Um, there's all kinds of stuff you can change in VS Pro. Density of grasses are typically a big one. Um, you can change that render distance so that uh, grasses aren't shown so far away. You don't necessarily need grasses, little tiny grasses to be shown 300 yards away. You can maybe pull that into 75, 80, 100 yards. You gotta play with it. Um, be careful of double rendering. So if you if you make copies of things, like for example, it's, I talked about whole 99 being double rendered. Um, if you planted your trees with Unity uh, planning tools and then you exported them as game objects, do you still have the foliage train turned on to draw? And are you drawing a game object and a foliage um, both at the same time? That could be a problem. Um, so and double rendering is a tough one because um, it, it's hard to tell unless you disable one of those things and the other one, and, and it still stays, then you know you're double rendering. So if you disable something and it's it's still there, <laughs> it's being drawn through another means. So that's double rendering. And that's a, that's a, a configuration issue, it can be a, a big problem. If you have, and I've done this one many times, if you're using the overhead image creator, um, in other words, when you're drawing on your train and then you export that back into Inkscape to draw your spines, if you don't disable that, it's a big performance suck. So just make sure you have your overhead image creator disabled if you used it. Another thing you can do is also helps is disable shadows on some things. Disable shadows, <clears throat> I always disable shadows on meshes. So as soon as you import your OPCD meshes, <clears throat> excuse me, 
um, disable them to cast shadows. Now they should receive cash, uh, shadows. You want them, you know, a tree, you want to be able to receive a shadow from a tree, but there's no reason for your, your OPCD, your meshes to cast shadows. Same thing for maybe there's trees in certain areas and you certainly don't want to cast shadows for like grasses and, and maybe you want to disable it for like smaller rocks and stuff as well. So if you're doing stuff with VS Pro, like smaller rocks, um, you don't really notice the difference if you disable those shadows. So that's another thing to look into. So these are just some general guidelines. And if you really run into some issues, you can always reach out to the Discord community to get some additional help.